Guys, there's an old saying used to describe an impossible love. A bird may love a fish, but where would they live? Well, obviously in some kind of purpose-built habitat, uh, with a water area adjacent to somewhere with trees and so forth. Darren, I think you're missing the point. Entwined is a game about two souls, a bird and a fish who are in love, but can never be together. Entwined is a kind of music rhythm game. You control both the blue bird and the orange fish with the left and right thumbsticks at the same time. The aim is to coordinate both creatures to line up with the corresponding coloured shapes, creating music as they travel. In between the blocks of colour, you must also try and catch little coloured balls of light, which fill up a light meter at the top of the screen. But for every shape you miss, it sets that creature back. But once you manage to collect enough light balls for both the bird and the fish, you have the opportunity to merge the two together. Gather a few more shapes while in the joining state and you complete the level, or lifetime as they're referred to. When that happens, the bird and the fish transform into one being, a spectacular dragon. There are nine lifetimes all together, with each adding a new layer of rhythm and difficulty through coordination. It may look deceptively simple, but the controls are actually quite tricky to master for human brains. Uh, this is because you're controlling both characters with each hand in different directions. Uh, similar to when you try to pat your head and rub your stomach at the same time. It takes some serious coordination. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And while the first lifetime sees you simply trying to line up the coloured shapes with the creatures, each lifetime brings a new technique to master, from hitting multiple shapes in formation to moving the thumbsticks independently of one another. And just to make it tougher, sometimes the shapes move. Yes, it gets quite hard. Thankfully, it's a little forgiving as levels just keep going and going until you are able to get to the joining state. So while I struggled with each new mechanic, I started to get more familiar with the patterns and eventually I settled into a cool musical rhythm groove. One thing I thought was interesting is that even though I'm right-handed, it was generally my right hand that struggled to be really dexterous and hit all those shapes with accuracy. Mm. Although I suppose it's kind of like you usually use your left thumbstick to control a character in a normal game, so that's become really dexterous, so maybe that's why the blue side was always lagging. Yeah, makes sense. Mm. I like the music variation in each level. Mm. And the visual design is really great. Simple, but well designed. Oh, particularly when you transform into the dragon. <laughs> yeah, those are beautiful, weren't they? And there's a nice sense of relief just being able to soar over the water after the high stakes tension of the main levels. I did enjoy those too, but I was hoping this metaphor of two souls joining and becoming the dragon would lead to some kind of meaningful outcome. But I found the ending a little anticlimactic. Yeah, me too, Darren. I was hoping it would be like Journey, you know? That almost had us to tears at the end. Yeah, you're right about that. Also, I noticed the game would often shudder and pause for a few moments, often when you were just about to go through a shape which sometimes caused me to fail. And we played this on PS4, which is a powerful console, so I think there's a bit of a game design flaw there. Unacceptable! Uh, but moving on, what if you decide to score it? Well, it's an interesting concept, but it is quite short. Having said that, I'm not sure if the experience warrants the game to be any longer. Hmm. There is that challenge mode as well. True, and it is reasonably priced. I just wasn't blown away enough by this game to want to go back and play it again, so I'm going to give it six and a half out of ten rubber chickens. Well, I like that it's accessible enough for newcomers to try, but I really wish they'd taken their story concept a little further and fleshed out those end zones a little more. Also, those pause flaws need to be sorted out ASAP, so I'm giving it six. 